you've got a little bit of added security in knowing that the property here, you will have gates such as this, so you will actually be provided with a code during check-in that will assist you in getting into your property, regardless of which one of the properties you're staying at. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around. I always love to do that, give you a glimpse of who's speaking, but don't hold it against me. It's a rather humid day out here, so you may see a sweat drop or two. Not a big fan of sweating when I'm not in the gym, but doing it to bring you a little bit of luxury here. The place that you will be staying, if you're staying at the Barefoot Landing, this is on the north side of Myrtle Beach. And of course, we're staying in the Yacht Club. You have four buildings which make up the Yacht Club, and the fifth is for residents. Give you more of an area view of what your looks looks like. Looks like. And I'm going to give you this from the room as well. So we're going to make our way up. Not going to spend too much time. Turn it around. And of course, my name is Alton, and I'll be taking you on this guided tour today. We're going to take a look at the room first, the pool, and also the check-in process, which is through Beach Vacations. So definitely make note of that, and you definitely want to look before your vacation. I'm going to let these people know the pool's closed. Hey, folks, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Just so you don't make the walk, for some odd reason, they've got the pool locked. Yes, I'm being told it's been locked yesterday since 2 o'clock. They never reopen it? They never reopen it. It's still locked now. Nobody's key will work. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's like a whole line of people that were coming and... Really? Mm-hmm. We're going to make our way in. You've already seen the gate at a security on the parking. Of course, once you go in, I'm going to show you exactly what villa I'm in. This is the villa there, Villa 2. Hey, let's make our way in. In the elevator, we'll have more of a personal conversation about what just happened. So, as you can see, everybody's making their way to the pool. This is the elevator area. I'm staying on floor 7, of course, everything opens, there's the mailboxes, people are here for extended time, and here's your view of the little lobby area here. Let's make our way up to the 7th floor. So the lady, I just told her the pool was closed, completely locked, nobody's card is working, and she told the boys, well, let's just go ahead and walk over here anyway, as if she, she didn't believe me. But everybody needs the exercise, I did too, which is why I'm sweating. So. Here we go. More steps to them. Feeding the Fitbit is exactly what that is called. My heart goes out to her. Also, the driving motivation she's got in doing so as well. Awesome. Here's a view of the parking lot. More than enough space for, for parking. Now, once you check in the facility and everything, it's awesome. I mean, if you're having family, I shouldn't say awesome, but it's good. If you're having family down that's going to stay, stay an extended period of time, it's like a condo. And they treat you like you're living in a condo. But if you have a phobia of spiders, this is not the place for you because you're not going to enjoy your walk to your room at all. Now, this is during the day. Keep in mind, spiders such as this are more active at night. So, yeah. Keep your head down and keep it moving. So as we make our way to the room, a little speed bump here. You can see the lock. I'm going to grab my room key and check in. This is where you will be staying. Of course, they say that these are actually owner, owner's property or their condos or place of residence that they actually rent out. So, they always warn you to handle with care. First thing you see when you come in, of course, door will be shut. But you will have a dryer and washer and some. Keep it moving. You can control your own temperature. We like it cold. Maybe I should make it colder. Take you into, off to the right. So this is the first master bathroom, bathroom you may want to call it. As you can tell, shower area. Fairly sizable shower. So perhaps you enjoy the finer foods of life. You are going to have far and enough shower space there. That's pretty deep. And as I spin around, 
double vanities here. His and her, you can both enjoy yours. Uh, you can tell on my shirt here, oh, it's humid. This is a humid area, it's humid outside. And I grew up farther down south. Don't remember it being this bad. You do have a tub. Okay, we're just gonna make our way into the other one. Here's your urinal. So from the restroom, gonna back out once more. Full shot here. We're gonna make our way all the way around. Now this is, some would say the master bedroom. Of course, if you book the place and your parents aren't coming with you, you definitely want this one. This is your shot as you're lying in bed. Do you have a chair in the corner with a lamp? Of course. That's what you're looking at. All the TVs were right at about a 32 inch. Not a big fan of that, but you're not exactly coming to stay in the room all the time. But of course, if you're getting a condo such as this, yes, you're planning on staying in the room sometime because you can't go to the pool. So that's the bed. You can see the time, 11.43. This is actually being taken, or my stay was in August here. Very humid, very humid. So master bedroom. You've already seen the bath area. They can make this into separate rooms. They can rent just a bedroom, a portion out of it separately with the bath. What you're looking at is a whole more of a suite area or a villa. That door, which you're seeing directly in front of me there, that can be shut. It can be used to lock this particular bedroom and bathroom as one. You can see the outside door leading from the outside. So that can lock this area into one, so you just have the beds and the bath. I'll give you a shot. This is the smaller restroom. I'm going to back out. Now, of course, you can get a hint of size of the room. Once you see my reflection in the mirror there, have the one area here. There I am. You can see the size of the door. And I say that, I know you're not stupid, but at the same time, you have a lot of people that want to get a sense of how big the place is. Now here, you do get a shower, which is a shower bath in one. I'm going to make our way out. I'll actually show you the restroom. Looks like I was... I mean, our bedroom. Looks like I was keen on getting into the restroom or the bath here area here. I guess after sweating so much, uh, you do get two queen size beds. Beds, not two queen. Ah, uh, twins. Two queen. Sitting area for all of your electronics. Now there's a chair and a table off to the side for work area. You do get the dual queen beds. Alarm clock, lamp. You can see everything there, sense of the spaciousness of the room. There's your television, which is not on at the moment. You do get a closet, which is off to the left. We're going to make our way out. Now, every room will come with a ceiling fan. Now, if you are over 6'5", this is not the place for you because look at how much room I have, and I'm 5'10". So if you're 6'5", or whatever, guess where you are? You're up with the spiders. Of course, you don't want to do that unless you're Spider-Man. We're going to make our way out to the open area. Now, you've already came through here. This is just a little standing area. Some will call it a lobby. And we are prepared to go. This is your open area. This is pretty deep. It goes all the way to the side. You can see the side windows. I'm going to give you your view out the balcony. Here's your kitchen area. Sorry about the quick turns. Working the love handles. So you have more of a pantry type area here. And the residents appear to lock that area there. So no one can get into their goodies, cookies, snacks, canned goods. Here's the counter area. Now keep in mind, we are preparing to leave. So this is floating. Standalone. Television, it's very difficult to get that to spin. It doesn't turn. So if you're over here and you're watching your favorite show, you're not going to be able to do it while cooking. But... You can rewind it whatsoever. Most people have the five stick, fire stick. Watch it when you want to. Do a quick spin here. And I'm going to give you another spin once I walk over to the other side. You do get the microwave, stove top. They already have it equipped, so you don't have to bring anything from home. Of course, with the refrigerator as well. And what you're hearing behind me is the dishwasher. Just showing you a couple of the amenities. So let's walk around. I'm going to give you an aerial shot of both rooms as I do so. 
Love the decor. I actually like the place. Carpet needs to be redone. Furniture slightly run down. But that's not a problem at all. Still nice. You only stand for a certain period of time. So this is a shot of the kitchen area. If you're the type that cooks and prepares your food. If you're the type that doesn't cook and prepare food and you actually will have it to where people are watching you, they can actually sit at the bar area. Nice sitting area. You can enjoy that food that the person that has just prepared it cooked. A little desk area. Now, you remember the doors that separate the rooms? This is another. You can fully lock this door, which separates the facility across from us. I would think that that's actually a three-bedroom. You can hear in the morning, but outside of that, you can't hear too much of your residents uh, as the evening goes on. So you can see here, I always love, I do the camera so you can see rather than me just writing a review. If you're seated, this is your look. That's your television. I would love for it to be larger. You do have the vents which are up top. You can see the decor. You can see the furniture. Slightly used, or used, but there again. Here's one of my assistants. Hey, assistant, how are you? Of course, she's making herself at home. There's the sofa area. Very comfortable, by the way. We're going to make our way on the round. Yes, I did. Hey, there's the other assistant. She's hiding. There's the other. Center table area. And as you can tell, they're enjoying their favorite movie. Very relaxing, very quiet, unless you have noisy neighbors. Neighbors weren't too noisy, they're just two adults next door. Heard them talking this morning. You do get larger than life view and ambient lighting. As you can see, you do have furniture on the outside, which you can fully enjoy. We're going to make our way out. Love the view. We have one of the best areas for that. So I'm going to give you a nice aerial view here. This is your view. Now, as I mentioned, once you get checked in, this is condo style. You're on your own. No cleaning, no assistance. No one's going to look after you. No one's going to bother you, which is the great side of it. The check-in process with beach vacations, I don't know if it's really worth it. So we're going to make our way on around. Now the places you see right here, that is actually, I think it's called the North Tower. That is the beach resort or the Beach Cove Resort. And then there's another one called the, um, oh, I can't remember, starts with an S, Summit. The Summit, I think that's going to be off here. Those are the great destinations to stay at. You can get the same type of accommodations with a full kitchen area, but you're on the beach. Trust me. If you're staying, North Myrtle Beach is a little bit quieter than the south side, Myrtle's Inlet, surf side, quiet areas as well. But if you're coming to the north side, this is the destination to stay at on the north side, the area that I definitely would say. But you may want to do something along the beach. We had to actually hop in the uh, car to go make our way to the beach. You can see the water utensils as I always like to call it, yachts, boats, different things of that nature. We had an opportunity to ride, or we had an invite to ride on one yesterday. My daughter truly enjoyed that. And by the way, I'm going to move you back around. There's your pool area. Looks like they may be back open, but no one's in the water. So they're probably not. There's a restaurant for the location as well that you can see there. A lot of the people that are actually docked, those are people that are staying here that are owners. And of course, you can see the boating area. Going to take you back around. Now, as you look across, you can see the flag, the water tower. Those are making your way out. You have like a Hilton Grand in that area. Uh, if you look right across from us, you're actually going to see there is Dick's, the restaurant. They actually act like a dick while serving your food, but that's what they're there for. That place will be extremely packed at night. You have the House of Blues. You have Alabama. Uh, those are going to be coming in to your left here. Um, those are there. This is a great place because you will typically have people walking across the bridge to make their way over to that area. So if you're going to one of those, this is a perfect destination for you because you can walk your way over. If you're staying on the beach, you definitely want to be along the beach area there. There again, North Tower, 
Beach Cove, Summit, I think that is the names of those locations. That's where we actually went to the beach area. You can see a couple people in the ski mobiles here, jet skis. You can actually rent those. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it down before I run out of cam time here. And before I do so, you do have neighbors. You can get a glimpse of them, but nobody's really staring at you the whole time. We're on the seventh floor. Absolutely love it. So we're going to go ahead and shut it down. This is the Barefoot Landing here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're actually on the north side of Myrtle Beach. Great place to stay when you look at the facility, when you look at the pool area. But when you're working with beach reservations, you're going to have an issue. To me, it's not worth it. You're better off staying somewhere along the beach area. But once you get in full condo style, you absolutely love it.